Hey all, just wanted to put this video together on uh, reviewing our study materials at meded101.com. I'm Eric Christensen, pharmacist, uh, BCPS, BCGP, primary owner uh, and content creator uh, at meded101. Uh, there was a few reviews uh, that I wanted to address from a few years ago. A friend pointed them out. Um, who had, you know, provided some some feedback on our study materials and things. So I just wanted to cover that a little bit and um, make sure you guys were up to speed with some of the updates and things that we've had. So those uh, reviews, I uh, just wanted to kind of take them head on. Uh, so in 2019, I would say, you know, the content definitely wasn't where I wanted it to be as far as the uh, videos and the depth and and things like that and and looking back on that now, um, I I definitely think you know we we needed to do a better job and and we're continuing to to update and do that. So background, I uh, update the content on an annual basis uh, because of your guys' support, I have been able to um, continue to work as a clinical pharmacist part time and also um, be able to do this on a um, what feels like a full-time basis at, at some points, but um, I enjoy doing it. Uh, so it, it's it's not an issue to me. I enjoy uh, the process of exams and preparing and things like that. I've taken uh, the BCPS exam twice. I've taken the uh, geriatric uh, exam twice, once upon uh, initial certification and, and recertification for both of those. So uh, I feel like I'm uniquely qualified uh, to kind of help people uh, through this process. And so again, just wanted to, to address these reviews um, and what we've done since 2019. So updates that have been done since 2019. So we've added um, 10 to 15 hours of additional videos and content to those videos. Uh, we were in the neighborhood of probably 10 to 15 uh, hours in our initial package. Um, and since that time, uh, since 2019, each year we continue to add content. I update review content on an annual basis. Uh, so now we're in the neighborhood I've, of, I believe, uh, pretty close to 30 hours of video content. And I really focus on drug therapy, drug selection when it comes to uh, the pharmacotherapy section of the BCPS exam. So that's really, really uh, my focus. Um, now, there are definitely other study materials that go into a lot greater depth on some of the uh, diagnostic issues and things like that. And definitely not saying that there's not value to that. Um, but in, in my opinion, in taking these exams, you have to know how to select drugs. We're not diagnosticians as pharmacists. Um, you know, we need to know contraindications, why you would choose it, why you wouldn't, guidelines, things like that. Uh, and that's really my heavy focus uh, in the videos. So again, if you want some of that background, that's great for you as a practicing clinician, that type of thing, as far as the, the diagnosis and that background. Um, but in my opinion, um, spending a ton of time on that is uh, not valuable in in helping you prepare uh, to pass your BCPS exam. So take that for what it's worth there. Um, that initial package in 2019, all we had was a, a practice exam, uh, a 175 question practice exam with that initial package back in 2019 where those negative reviews were. Um, we have since added um 1,500, 1,700 practice questions. So we're approximately uh, at 2,000 practice questions. Um, I've got two full-length mock exams in those study materials. Um, so basically, you can get the, the feel of random questions. Um, and then the rest of the questions, the additional 1,500, 1,700 uh, in that ballpark, uh, those are separated out by category. So if you feel like you want to work on a, on a particular area, that type of thing, you can certainly do that. Um, uh, slide count, uh, we've got that available as a, a PDF download. Uh, I think we were in the neighborhood of 700 to 900 in our initial package. Uh, we've added a lot more depth, a lot more content uh, to that since 2019, obviously. 
Um, I get feedback from folks uh, who have, you know, obviously taken the exam, uh, provided feedback saying, you know, why didn't you cover this or this should have been covered in more depth. So um, I look at that on an annual basis and I add content based upon that um, because I want to try to obviously tailor it um, to the exam as best as possible because I know you guys are, um, at least most, are very, very uh, busy healthcare professionals as well as um, potentially family people, social people uh, that want to lead normal lives that way too. So um, I take that feedback. Uh, We've done numerous updates over the last several years to the stats study guide, added some additional content to make sure to cover everything kind of within that that content outline uh, regulatory study guide updates we've done that done that as well um, as we get feedback um, and the bcps content outline changed a couple of years ago i believe i think it was 2019 2020 uh, so they do that periodically uh, and that's something obviously as somebody who creates study materials uh, i keep close tabs on that so since 2019, I've definitely had people reach out to me and um, be very gracious and, and thankful for the study materials we've put together. Uh, it's definitely something I'm, I'm proud of and, and happy about, but certainly um, any type of you know constructive feedback and constructive reviews I take into consideration as well. So if you want to pause and, and read those, um, you certainly can. And then I've got another page of them as well. So feel free to, to take a look at them and, and um, uh, take it for what it's worth there. Uh, if you have questions uh, about the exam, about the application process, about our study materials, um, you can reach out to me at mededucation101 at gmail.com, and I'll maybe put that in, in the comments section as well. Uh, if you have any feedback for upcoming candidates, uh, that type of thing, or, you know, deficiencies in our study materials. Um, that's definitely something uh, that I would uh, be interested to hear about. So you can uh, definitely feel free to, to email me again, mededucation101 at gmail.com, and I'll try to put that um, in the, the comments below. So hopefully that's uh, helpful for you. Uh, I Oh, I did want to, one last mention, I did want to mention we do have um, a question bank only option. I know others have, have done ACCP content. Um, you know, maybe you weren't happy with the questions you got in what other, whatever study package um, you chose, or maybe you just like questions and you want more and more questions. So um, that is relatively new in the last year or two um, where we just have that uh, question bank option. So you can head on over to meded101.com. Uh, if you want to check that out, I'll put that link in the comments section as well if you want to see the study materials there. And again, feel free to, to email me if you have any questions or comments, suggestions, feedback. Um, uh, I definitely appreciate that. And, you know, that's, that's how we've uh, improved things over the last several years. So thanks so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.